well-known company led by Elon Musk, SpaceX, has finally launched a launch vehicle with the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which will deliver a crew consisting entirely of private individuals to the International Space Station. Today, we will take a virtual crewed flight together instead of $52 million for free. The commercial mission was organized by the aerospace company Axiom Space, with the amazing aesthetics of the Dragon crew also called Dragon 2. The launch took place from the launch complex LC-39A at the Kennedy Space Center. These are truly amazing shots. There was a live broadcast with the launch of the NASA channel for more than four hours and in truth, I could not move away from the screen. Equally interesting, the crew includes former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, three space tourists, American entrepreneur Larry Connor, Canadian investor Mark Petty, and Israeli businessman Eitan Stib. How much would you pay for such a flight? And yes, as I mentioned earlier, the opportunity to go to the ISS is estimated at only some $55 million. And if you chip in for four and round it up, it's almost $14 million. The flight is scheduled for approximately 10 days. We are waiting for the return of tourists to Earth on April 19th. A few minutes after the launch, the first stage of the rocket landed on a platform in the Atlantic Ocean. Fascinating picture. Only four times are enough for the experience of launching such a SpaceX stage and the fifth is sending private traders. It seems that this is exactly what the company's employees thought. If the amount is not terrible for you, then the next flight is planned in 2023. It's time to break the piggy bank. This kind of entertainment will definitely leave a mark on the memory, but if the state allows, I'm sure it's worth it. You only live once. And already in 2024, the company plans to open its own orbital tourist complex. Allow me, your highness, to give you a tour of the ship. Dragon 2 is the latest upgrade to the reusable Dragon spacecraft that will allow the crew to travel to the ISS and return to Earth. The nose cone is needed to protect the docking adapter while flying in the atmosphere, and under it is a star sensor for determining orientation. Four chic viewing windows in a sealed compartment will allow passengers to enjoy flights to the fullest and see outer space of piercing beauty. Initially, the ship was designed for a crew of five people, and a little later, two more seats were added to the project. Who knows, maybe someday the capacity will be like that of ordinary passenger aircraft. But while there is a landing on the water during the launch process, the number of passengers has a significant impact on the workload of the capsule. And then changes appeared in the project again, and it was decided to leave four seats so that docking with the ISS could be carried out independently without using the station manipulator. To safely enter the atmosphere, the ship has a heat shield, and it also provides space for a service compartment with titanium tanks and a crew life support system. And what about security? Of course, it was not without an emergency rescue system equipped with the most durable and modern parachutes. You know what I noticed? Almost all the names in space missions are similar to the names of heroes from comics. Even the names of the engines sound like the names of superheroes. Super Draco. It is a pity that the developers had difficulties with certification, but this crew could already try to splash down thanks to a controlled landing without using parachutes. Watching from the outside, and when this action rivets with its exclusivity and novelty, which we sometimes lack so much. What if the engines fail? This question also did not remain in thought, because there are eight of them on the ship, two for each passenger, enough for everyone. I hope passengers are not aware that when the first 12 engines were being tested at the beginning of the Super Draco engine activation process, an explosion occurred that led to the destruction of the device. Because knowing this story, I would have definitely started to panic in the ship. Perhaps some of you in recent 2014 witnessed the first launch of Falcon 9. It was then that Elon Musk received the title of fabulously lucky and presented the Dragon V2 to the whole world thanks to his participation in the Sea Court Cappy competition and a contract with NASA in the amount of $2.6 billion. And voila, a few years later, flights of tourists with a flyby of the moon became possible. 
Of course, it was not without test flights and some pancakes lumpy, which are the reason for the cancellation and rescheduling of flights in 2018, 2021, but nevertheless, Elon managed to heroically resist the difficulties and sell tickets, sending four passengers on the flight who will have something to tell their grandchildren. If we compare man chips, for example, developed by the Russian company Energia, called Oral and Dragon Crew, then my intuition would tell me to give preference to flying on the second one. But time will tell how the Oral flight will go in 2023. Ship name certainly sounds more confident than a Dragonfly. I should at least try on the crew patch. By the way, if you are interested in learning about the meaning of symbols of space mission patches, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a command so that I can immerse you in the most interesting semantic journey of logos invented for flights. With you was What Is. He hugged everyone. Hugs. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me 